Hi, I'm Ben, and today we're gonna to be installing this and this. This is a new mount for my battery with thicker gauged cables. That just means that more power can go through the power highway. I've been sitting on this for months now, so it's time to do it before it turns into like negative 30 degree weather. The second thing I'll be replacing is this. This is an e-bike controller housing, and it's a lot more elegant of a solution compared to this duct taped piece of bag. So right now, this is how it works. There is this battery right here. And at the bottom here is where all the power comes out. And then it goes into this mess of duct tape. This duct tape is actually a bag. And the first step in all of this is to just get this undone. This was initially a patch job that was gonna be temporary. And then it turned into three years temporary. So as you can see here, all it was were milk bags and clear bags as the waterproofing layer, and then over top, the duct tape. Okay, so this is what it actually is underneath. It's honestly just a bag. It was initially hooked up to the top, but then I changed some things with the wiring and it was only long enough to get to here. So now I'm going to just quickly check, now that we can kind of see. This is gonna be a very tight fit. Undo all of this. I'm gonna let this hang, which is ill-advised. Let's take this off right now as well. Okay, there you go. So we have a nice clean stem to work with. Now let's get this on here and see if it'll work. So I guess what I'll do is I'll leave the battery on even though I just took it off. Let's go like this. So what I was worried about here was that this wouldn't have enough clearance, but it looks like it has just enough clearance. So this should work. I'm, I'm kind of excited now. Would it work here? Oh, it might even work here. Oh my goodness, that's so cool. Okay, cool. That's, that's actually looking pretty snazzy so far. It's not even on there yet. I have a few mounts. It comes with two thingamajiggers. Unfortunately, these look like they're plastic, but the good news is this is not a high stress environment right here. So plastic should be just fine. Comes with an assortment of screws. I'm just figuring all this out right now. Okay. So we're gonna come over here. Now that I've taken that off, let me quickly check the polarity of these two mounts because I wanna make sure the wiring is in the right place so I don't short circuit things. Just because I had my friend do some soldering here for this one, putting on the, the bigger wires. I make sure that nothing wonky is going on in here. I haven't checked it yet. Okay, so if you didn't know, this is what's inside these mounts. And it looks like I won't be able to figure out which one's which. Um, we'll just twist it this way. I'll know that this is that side and that's that side. But now at least I know which way is which. Okay, I'll put this all back together. Let's go back over here and do this now. Might be the case that I could actually put it up a little bit further. I had it here before, but I could always have it really far up here. Eh, let's have it down here as much as we possibly can. Okay, these are tighter now. You know what? I'm gonna just try to put this on real quick. And if you're doing this with these ends exposed, just make sure that they're separate. I'm gonna go over here, make sure it's not in contact with anything. All I wanna do is just plug this in just to make sure everything's good. Okay, that's good. Now I'm going to undo this, which honestly has always been a horrible experience because it's such a small, bag? What's that? Did something melt? I haven't checked this box for quite some time now. All right, I'm gonna start detaching things. So this is what makes the actual bike run, is all these wires. Here's my old wrench that I just keep in my bag. I guess I'm gonna have to undo all of these. Wow, this looks really... <laughs> something happened over here. <laughs> what happened? I don't understand. I'll deal with that later. Now I'm gonna just take this off. Woo, finally. I really hope this build works out. Now I can take this away. This is the old mount and this is the new mount. So these are the differences between the cable gauges. It's actually not that evident, but I mean, if you look at it, that's this is pretty, pretty hardcore on this side. So now all I need to do is go along the other side and figure out how to mount this so that it can work. Okay, that was, uh, that was a lot more work than I thought it was gonna be. Everything is wired right there, but I don't know if this is gonna work. I'm always really afraid of um, 
having the polarity reverse because that's happened once and it just kind of short circuits and there's a BMS in the battery and nothing bad happens, but it does kind of like give a little bit of spark to your contact, so that's not good. So let's go ahead and see what happens. This should work. Oh, I guess I should just connect to the last few things, which are just these big ones. There are so many wires with so many different connection points and things that it's always very confusing. I should have taken a photo before doing this. Okay, that's my tip for today, is take a photo before you disassemble everything. Nothing's touching. Everything appears to be okay. So I'm gonna let this dangle here and I'm going to attach the battery and hopefully there's not a big boom. And then, there we go. We have a controller that works and I replaced everything. I don't smell any burning and this is good. Okay, now we have to finish up the case install. So this is gonna be the annoying part and I'm gonna just put this on time-lapse. So now comes the second test. I put in two screws and that's all. I just wanna test to see if I didn't pinch any wires or anything. That is a very tight fit, but let's see if it works. Okay, we have a functional bike. The battery can get down all the way, that's good. And it literally just fits, I can't believe that. And so the wire from the throttle runs along here. It comes down awkwardly there. I could probably figure out a better way of running that. I'll do that later. And I'm just gonna do a first bike test. So here it goes. <laughs> I was just coming back and one of my wires caught on my pedal, like just now. Like this right here, the, you know, the most important thing, the power cable got caught on my pedal. So I'm gonna have to figure out a way. Oh, it was starting to rub. This wire was rubbing on my tire and it kind of almost wore through there. I'm gonna have to do some taping or have some creativity go on here. If it's just a moped, it would be totally fine because all I would do is not have pedals, right? But because I do bike and I use my pedals, the wires have to be pedalable. I'm cold, it's Halloween right now and it's kind of chilly. So I'm gonna wrap this up another day. This is the other day. Okay, if you've made it this far into the video, please go ahead and give it a like for the YouTube algorithm. It helps me out. But if you liked this video, you'll probably like past videos and future videos. So go ahead and subscribe and hit the bell notification icon so that you get my videos right to your phone. So I guess that's all, bye.